Hi. Today what I want to do is show you how to make this square knot macrame, which um, you can make bracelets out of, you can make belts out of, people have made um, the hanging plant holder things out of. So anyway, I've done two here. One is in solid colors and one is in um, two different colors. So I'm going to show you in the two different colors so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put these aside for now. And what you need to do, what I'm using, I'm using a nylon string right now that comes on a big roll. They've got some in the craft stores that is thinner and comes in a smaller roll, and that's really the better one to use. But this is easier for you to see. So what I did first was I cut about three and a half feet of string. So you want to make sure, now we're going to fold it. I put the two together and I need to line them up here and about a foot, something that goes around my wrist at least two times. So I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna tie this in a knot and I'm gonna tie it just together so that I can keep this. There's a whole lot of different ways of doing this. You can put it around a pencil. I'm just gonna tie it in a knot and then I'm gonna fold it over. So now I folded this over and I'm gonna find my tape and I'm gonna actually tape this to the table. Okay, so the two short ones are the ones that are gonna stay on the ground. And I'm gonna work with the two longer ones. So I'm gonna separate those to my right and my left side right now. I'm leaning against the table to hold these kind of straight and you're gonna to wanna to do that because otherwise it'll all wrinkle up when you tie your knots. So the first thing you need to do is I'm gonna take my left hand string and I'm gonna cross it over and create a number four. Then I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna take the right string. I'm gonna put it over the tail of the four, under the two strings and up through the hole in the four. And then I'm gonna even them out, make sure that middle is tight and I pull those right up to the tape, nice and tight. I'm gonna pull it too tight, the tape will fall right off the, ta off the table. This whole thing um, project takes about 10 or 15 minutes if you keep on it, but it's something you can put down. So now the trick is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna make the four. I'm gonna crisscross the tail over the first string, under two strings, and up through the hole. Same as we did the other time. So it's the same thing all the time. The only problem is, the only difference is you start with uh, a different hand. So make sure that middle one is, those two are tight to the ground. And I pull that tight. Now if I look at this, I've got a really nice square knot. So now I'm gonna go back to my left side. So I keep alternating sides. It's interesting when you do, when you're using two different colors, you tend to make the four with the same color every time. So I'm making the four with the green. I go over the tail, under the two, and up through the hole. Make sure the middle is down. And I'm gonna pull those up nicely. Even them out and pull it up. And now what's happening is I'm starting to see a nice little pattern. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Make my four, Ooh, lost my string. Cross over, under the two and up through the four. Again, make sure those two are steady. And I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. If I forget, and I'm using the same color string and I, I, I let it go and I come back and I think, oh no, which one did I stop with? If you look at a square knot, it's got a bump on one side and on the other side, the string comes out. The side with the bump is the side that crosses over and makes the four. So I'll cross over again. I'm gonna go over, under the two and up through the four. Notice I reach down through the four to pick that up. It makes it a little quicker. And then I'm gonna even that out again and pull it up and now it's starting to look really nice. If you wanna do something fancy and you can do it part way through, if I make the four on the same side all the time, always make it on my left, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a spiral. That square knot's gonna turn into a knot that makes a spiral and then you can go back to the square knot, make a spiral. You can do all kinds of things. So that's how you make the bracelet. Let me show you quickly how I would end this. So when I'm done and I check to see if it fits on my wrist. A little, a little bigger than 
tight because you're going to have to carefully pull it over your hand because I'm going to burn this nylon. If you did it in cotton, you're just going to tie a knot. So I would take two strings from one side and put it through one of the loops. And then I would take the other two strings and put it through the other loop. That way I won't have a loop just hanging out there. Then tighten up your bracelet. Check again that it fits. I can get that over my hand. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these right here and you're going to tie a knot in this. Now I have my strings for this for showing you are a little too short, but I'm going to tie the knot anyway. Uh, yeah, it's going to work. And then I would tighten it up. And then what I would do is I would cut this about an eighth of an inch. And then if you have a candle, and I can take this really close, not my hand close, keep your hand far away, and move it by the candle, this will start to melt a little bit. And when it does that, it'll keep that from fraying. And then you're all done. If, however, you do it in cotton and you tie it in knots, just make sure they're really, really tight. And you're going to want to cut that too so you don't have a long string, but maybe leave about a half an inch or so in case that loosens up and you can tighten it. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you try it. If you do, send some pictures. Thanks.